HLS Show Me How, Speech to Text. Hi, my name is Michael Gennady, and I'm a Microsoft Teams technology specialist for the Microsoft Corporation working in our HLS, or Healthcare and Life Sciences group. Uh, if you have questions around speech to text, accessibility, or any other things that you'd like to know about, you can always find myself and my colleagues over at our blog at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. So I've been working with quite a few clients where the subject around diversity and inclusion has come up repeatedly. And with that, a large component is around accessibility. How do people access and leverage the systems when they may be struggling with a particular challenge, a uh, physical challenge, you know, some type of a disability? It could be a, a hearing, it could be visual, it could be physical. So how do they do that? Well, Microsoft has been working very diligently to try to include within its product stack accessibility um, features that enable folks to be able to work seamlessly irrespective of their particular challenge. In this case, we're going to be looking at speech to text, which gets rid of the need necessarily for this with the use of speech to actually take notes, to do things, transcribe and, and create data and information. So let's go ahead and we're going to move on to our demonstration to see how that actually works. So here you can see we're in Microsoft Word and we have the dictate functionality available. I can click the drop down and I can pick different languages. Mine is United States English, so it grabbed that by default. Um, we can also come into other applications. So for example, PowerPoint, here you go. You can see that I have dictate available, same features, same languages. If I come on over here to OneNote, we have the same feature available as well. But I'm going to go ahead, let's do this from the rich client in Microsoft Word. So we're going to go ahead and select Dictate. Just click on it. And now as I speak, it's going to take the words that I am speaking and it's going to transcribe them. And it will continue to do so until I stop the dictation. So you can see it's worked very well. I stopped it before it finishes here, but you can see the accuracy. A lot of that's going to depend on the clarity of your words, etc. But it does quite a good job in allowing me uh, this accessibility feature within Office itself. But what about the web-based version? So if I come on out here, you can see I have the same things. Here's Word, for example, and there's Dictate, and here's PowerPoint, or excuse me, OneNote, and I have the same capability here. So what happens when I do that from the web. Well, let's give it a try. So I'm going to select Dictate. And it asks if I can use my microphone. I'm going to say yes to using my microphone. And you can say, see that it's already beginning to transcribe what I'm saying. Now, it is accurate. So you can see that I said the word say, then see. And it grabbed both of those. And it continues to grab the words and language as I go along. So we'll go ahead and just stop that. But we're doing that here via the web. We're doing it via the rich clients. So accessibility is baked in throughout with the ability to provide text to speech for those who may have a physical disability that may impair their ability to type. So that's it. I mean, you can see it's very simple. That's just one of the many features around accessibility. I'll provide some links within this post to other accessibility and we'll do some more demos because again, this keeps coming up as folks are looking at diversity and inclusion. Accessibility is a huge piece of that as we bring in and want to make sure that all the members of our modern workplace community are able to equally collaborate and contribute and be able to do so despite the fact they may have challenges in one way shape or form so big piece of what microsoft's working on to enable all those within the enterprise education personal uh life to be able to work and to do things so i hope you enjoyed this video again i thank you for watching and if you have questions again you know, go ahead. You can find me and my colleagues at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. You can also find me on LinkedIn. If you look up Mike Gennady, 
You can find me on Twitter at Gennady. And finally, I'm on Facebook. I have a Facebook page, not my personal Facebook, but a page at M. Gennady. And you can always correspond with me and get, you know, contact me in any one of these ways, shapes, or forms. So with that, this is Mike Gennady bidding you have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this little brief demonstration of one feature in accessibility for Office and Office 365. Have a great day. Have a great coming weekend. And as always, take care and ciao.